What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a World of Better Magic. We're going to be cracking open a few collector packs here for uh, for Tyrus. He wanted some uh, Caldheim collectors. I was at Walmart the other day and uh, this is actually the first collector pack I've ever bought from Walmart. I do have to say the packaging on this is just kind of ridiculous. I feel like I'm buying a book. But I figured I'd grab one. It was the last one on the shelf. Um, before we get into it though guys, go check out uh, Pilgrim's Pools. That's uh, Tyrus' Facebook group. He does some crazy giveaways and stuff, guys. He's a great guy. Always helped out uh, my group and everything since we started. Um, I'll put the link to his group in the description below, so check it out. Uh, do me a favor. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Check out our Facebook group as well. We have some crazy giveaways going on ourselves. Uh, right now, if we hit 800 members, I want to say we're like 20 people away. I'm going to give away a Strixhaven Commander deck of your choice. I've got a, a box of them sitting here on the shelf. You can pick whichever one, it'll go to you. Um, we're going to announce the actual giveaway part once we hit 800 members. If we hit 1,000 members, we have a bigger giveaway going on. If, uh, if we hit our 1,000 in the Facebook group, we're going to give away a Modern Horizons 2 draft box. If we hit a thousand subscribers on our channel, we are also going to give away another Modern Horizons 2 draft box, as well as an unlimited Monarch box. So a lot of stuff going on, guys, so check it out. All the links are in the description below. And if you're looking to pre-order anything, check out the lotuslookout.com. Use the code on the screen right now. You'll get 10% off of everything you purchase, including singles and everything like that. He is in the process of uh, rebuilding a website. So the only thing listed at this moment is uh, Modern Horizons 2, which may already be sold out, and Dungeons and Dragons that's coming out. So check everything out, guys. So let's get into this. We got our eight packs. There's a lot of announcements there. So we're just going to set them up here for him. Get these ripped open. Good luck. I was actually looking over some of the prices in this set, and I feel like this set really didn't get a lot of a lot of love I mean it was I feel like it was kind of overlooked personally I wasn't too happy about it but just looking at at the prices that are showing there's actually a lot of good stuff in this set Sage of Beyond for your commander card so we're gonna put all your commons and uncommons together Crippling Fear Harold unites the elves That out of the way. Toski, Bear of Secrets. With a foil, more of the frost. Senate Spirit. And your token. Not a whole lot there. Plenty of room though. Yeah, the prices and stuff, I was really surprised to see how many cards was five dollars plus and I mean it's really that's not a lot for a lot of standard sets so I was kind of impressed but it goes anywhere from five to fifty and there's quite a bit of stuff love the uh, foil foil lands in this set bears a lit jar what we have we got our we'll figure it out Dragon Kid Berserker with a foil Reckless Crew. Maja. Sigurd. God favored. Just throwing me off. Let's go put them here. We'll put our Mythics here on the end. Rune Forge Champion. Some amazing artwork in this set. I was so excited when this set first started coming out. The Viking stuff. It's just a, a really cool history with everything. Love the show. I don't know if anybody actually watched that or not. Cosmic Intervention. Another Commander Sword. With a Doom Scar. Great board wipe. Foretail. And we got a Foil Mythic. Battle Mammoth. 
Harold King is skin far. And a Hengegate Pathway. Love the uh, the art on these lands. Mistgate. Really nice. Inga Runas. And that is the one you want. Right there. I think that's the second highest priced card in the set. Really nice. Congratulations on that one. Get you a sleeve here. Really nice. Let me uh, let me look here. I don't know if it has. Let's see Valky in the showcase. It's twenty five bucks non foil. So I have no idea what the foil is. I don't have that pulled up. That is a really solid pull. The next house is the uh, the Born Clex. No, I'm sorry. It's the Goldspan Dragon is the next house. So you got Valky, Goldspan Dragon, and then Born Clex. Really nice pull though. It's a great card. Foil Force, another Commander card, Elder Fang Venom, and the World Tree, another solid pull. That's up there as well. I think it's around 10 bucks or so. Rune Force Champion for your Foil Rare. With another Pathway. You're hitting some really good stuff out of here. Your Pathways hold, uh, hold some value and stuff. Foil and Tibbalt's Trickery. Congratulations on some of these. You're definitely hit some of the best cards in the in the set here. Well, you still got four packs left. Maybe we can hit like the Phyrexian Born Clutch or something. That one's still up there. Some foil lands. Retribution with a Righteous Valkyrie. Slide these over, make some room. They foil Retribution. Really dark. I don't know if you can tell on screen or not. Vega. And another pathway. I don't remember. I think this is the most pathways I've got out of a few packs of this. Was it Zendikar? What had the pathways in it? Was it Zendikar? Honestly, can't remember. But it seemed like those you got one in every pack or something. It was ridiculous. And then this, it seemed like it really died down. But these packs here are loaded with them. Feral and your foil. And <laughs> another foil pathway. Really nice. Hinge gate pathway. I think that's your fourth one you've got out of here. I'm just kind of curious. Give me just a second and see where we're at. World Tree, around 10 bucks. So the Bark Channel Pathways, eight bucks. Yes, yeah, so you're looking dark. Boy, you're, all your pathways, non-foil. That's not what I, I just got the list pulled up. You're looking at anywhere from like eight to 10 bucks, non-foil versions. And you got a foil right there. So you're, you're definitely hitting some value out of these. Really impressed. Judge your force. Ruthless Winnower. Cyclone Summoner. The Foil. Search for Glory. More of the Frost. God of Kinship. Rare. Iger. Freezing Flame, Iger, Ager, Freezing Flame, and the old Realm Eater. Foil Showcase. F was that the Bio Box promo? Just a different uh, different variants. And a Foil Emblem, always nice. Two packs left. I don't know, I'm really impressed with this because these all come from, uh, it was the same box. 
and the the packs have been all together for if it would have been a full box like it was loaded to be honest Valkyrie and Eradicator Valkyrie another nice looking mythic and Halvar God of Battle for another foil mythic Sword of Realms Tegra, God of Fright and Skimfar Avenger maybe that was the I can't remember what the buy box was guys there's so much stuff that comes and goes and another foil emblem comes and goes so quick it's hard to remember last pack congratulations Tyrus really some nice packs you got a lot of great stuff out of these Again, guys, check out his Facebook group. The link's in the description below. A great guy. He really is. He's helped my channel and group out for the longest time. He helped design the first logo for the channel. Pact of the Serpent. With Blessing of Frost. A Foil Dream Devourer that is insanely dark. You can't hardly even see the artwork. Like, it looks a little more clear off uh, on the camera. But off screen, it's really hard to even look at Finn, seen a lot of play for a little bit there. Cosmo, God of Witch, your showcase. Finn, again, ending with another mythic. Starnheim Unleashed. Great looking artwork there. That was a really nice, nice uh, eight packs. You hit some great stuff out of there. So congratulations on that. We're going to crack open this. Like I said, I was at Walmart. I just wanted to pick one up. I've never bought a collector pack from Walmart. And it was just the last one on the shelf. <clears throat> so I figured, why not? This insane packaging for one pack. Seems a little crazy. Here we go. Usually, <clears throat> when I go to Walmart, it's, you know, groceries, whatever we're picking up. And uh, me and the kids will go to the card section, and they'll usually pick out a Pokemon pack or two. I'll grab a Magic pack, and we'll just crack them open together and see what we pull. It's kind of just a fun little tradition type thing that we do. Nothing crazy. I mean, it's, it's just fun. My kids are six, and they, they enjoy Pokemon and cracking them open. They got their own little binders and stuff we set up for them. They th put every card they get in binders. So it's, it's just really cool to see. They're enjoying it. Curiosity Crafter for your commander card. With Hoffrey, Ghost Forge for Dwarf Cleric. Honestly, can't remember what most of these are. I don't want to hold y'all up. I'll probably edit. I'll just do that. I will edit it edit it into the screen the card name because I don't remember harmonize with another foil of the same card can't remember what it is and a grape shot foil for the rare so that was definitely what I would consider a bust I don't think there was anything really of any value overall in those but guys thanks for tuning in one last time, like, comment, subscribe, check out all the links in the description below. If you want to be a patron, if you plan on picking up any singles from TCG Player, anything like that, use the affiliate link. It's all listed in the description below, guys. Thanks for tuning in.